In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create multiple copies of one object without having to make individual copies over and over again. And that term is referred to an array. You can create linear arrays where you make multiple copies in a straight line, or you can make radial arrays where you make multiple copies on a curve or a circle. So what I'm going to do first of all is create a round table because you can see this chair right here is going to be the object that I'm going to create multiple copies of. This chair I have literally just copied and pasted from the pre-constructed 2D symbols that I provide in course three of my online courses, okay? So what I'm going to do is select the circle tool. Um, I'm going to type in 72 so that we have 72 sides and then enter. I'm going to click on the origin and release and then drag in the direction of the red axis and I'm going to type a radius measurement of 800 and then enter. Okay, so there is our circle. I'm just going to reverse that face. Great. And I'm just going to make that into a group and I'm just going to bring it up here so that it's easier to see instead of it being part of the axis, okay? I'm going to grab this chair. I'm going to find the center point and I'm just going to put it right here so that it's at the center point of the circle because I need to get the, the positioning right here before I start creating uh, multiples, okay? And this is important because if you're going to create a table and six chairs, for example, for a floor plan, you want to make sure that part of the chair is pushed in. You're not going to have them all around like that. That just doesn't look right. So I'm going to push this down a little. I know that it's centered with the center of the circle. And that's probably what I would like to see all the way around this table. Okay. So what I'm going to do is explode this and just remove the geometry that I don't need. Okay, so what we're trying to do here is show that the chair is a little bit under the table. We could probably move that in a little bit more, but I'm just going to leave that. And then what I'm going to do is make it into a component. Dining, chair, I don't know, revised. And replace selection with component and create. Okay, so there we go. Here is our new component. Great. So now what I'm going to do is create a command or a series of actions to tell SketchUp to place six of these chairs equally around this circle. I'm going to select the chair. I'm going to go to our rotate tool. I'm going to hover over the center. Well, let's just hover here first and bring this down. So we just need to, we just need to find the center point of the circle. And here it is right here. I'm going to click and drag until I reach the end point right here. You want to make sure that the green dashed axis is visible. And then I'm going to press control and then I'm going to click and drag that around. And you will see in the bottom right hand corner the word angle. And as you move this around, uh, the degrees there change. So I'm going to type 360 and then enter. And then I'm going to type divide by six and enter. And that, guys, is how you can create very quickly, very simply, and also very precisely, which is very important, six chairs equally spaced around a table. And all you did was make multiple copies of one object. Now, if you look right here, we actually created six of those using the initial chair. So there's actually a, a, a copy. There's actually one of those chairs on top of one another here. If we delete that, you can see that there's one underneath. If I delete that, then there's the original gone. Okay. And then what you could do is you could select the entire uh, geometry, right click, make a component, table, 
and charge six and then create and there's your brand new table and chairs component just like that i hope this helps